is what they are out to the very communities. And here this evening, Empress is going to come to this community here and it's come to you the message of life and love from the divine. Come on, Empress. Let me extend my gratitude to the Council General. I do appreciate the invitation. To the Linda Watson Lord who met me at a restaurant opening at Beijing Bistro last month. <laughs> my book was out all of maybe two weeks. And she extended this invitation oh. and read my book and requested pieces. So I do have to honor her request as well. Um, I left Barbados after graduating from the St. Michael School at 16 and moved to New York City and got introduced to open mic. Prior to that, I was introduced to Edward Como, Edward Como Brathwaite and poets such as that. I came here and I met spoken word. I fell in love over and over and over again and it's one of my favorite things. I'm a mentor. I am a mother, single of one female child raised in Brooklyn, New York, so it takes a lot. Um, my first piece is going to be dedicated to her and my little niece over there. <laughs> it's entitled to my princess. Oh wait, before I say that. My book, Impressions of a Poet, is published by Braven Publishing. It's um, represented by the two owners, K.L. and Tiffany Dolvin. Just like the sister said earlier, publishing, getting poetry published in America is really, really hard. I don't know why, because it's the pulse of America, but it's really, really hard. They said yes, and I had a baby, a second one. So I hope you enjoy what's in here. This piece is entitled to my princess. From the first moment I held you in my arms, I knew you would be my lucky charm, and I was humble. Your very first smile branded my heart with glee. I can't believe that God chose me to guide you. You are a high commodity, a symbol of God's greatest creativity, a child, not just any child, but a young queen. Someone who was birthed by destiny. You were assigned for me to glean and I embraced you. I remember dreams of you before you even existed and the tremors I experienced every time you twisted. The first sounds of your heartbeat was in unison with mine. I remember the thoughts that ran through my heart at that very time I made promises to you, for us. I wrote poetry that blended beautifully with your pulse. I fell in love with you. And as I watch you grow, I want to make sure you know that you are intricately created. You are a rich mixture of Mayan royalty, so I encourage you to carry yourself with dignity. Your blood is of a southern Caribbean line. That makes you sassy, but it also fills you with pride. You are a part of a legacy, a descendant of some of the strongest women in history. You bring the word divinity to life. As it was by divine order that you were designed. The creator is watching over you and I am here to gently guide you. You just know that from the very first start, the words from my mouth are a translation from my heart. So don't do as I say. Hmm. Don't do as I do, but please do as I say. Though I know that saying is so very cliche, it's as real as it gets. I say that because there's so much, there's so much more for me to learn yet. I'm prone to make mistakes. Mistakes we both should learn from in efforts to attain wisdom. We all have to walk before we run. The stage you're in should be fun, so take your time. The enemy will continually attack your lifeline because he envies you. He will place traps in your ways, traps in your way to deter you. You will be forced to apply your sensibilities, and in time you will discover your destiny. In every choice you have to make, know that a lot of what seems real is really fake. But you have give, been given the tools, and you've been taught the rules. So this is your time to exercise them. Thank you. Ashe. Now, Linda bought the book. <laughs> and she requested a piece. I hope she's out here to hear it, because I see she's kind of busy. But when she spoke to me for my confirmation, she ordered that I read my ice cream dream. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed as much as she did. 
there he was across the room, uh, Butter Keith Pecan Brother, straight out of the magazine. So smooth and premium, nice and cool, refreshing. I called him Hagen Dazs. Maybe wanna get a spoon. Maybe wanna get a spoon and scoop for taste. I held my breakfast and moon across his face. Mmm, delicious. Didn't need to dress him up with sprinkles, but for damn sure he can get the nuts. Mm. A creator of divinity creates it just for me. I thank God in one breath and ask him for forgiveness in another. For the thoughts running through my mind were not of a spiritual nature. It was lust. I lusted to take my butter pecan smooth brother and feel him melting in my mouth. One of swirling around in my throat as I nice. want to taste of vintage wine. I lost it to feel him spread all over my body and nice. straight into my throat and part of my bloodline. Flow from my head to my toes, this butter pecan brother spoke with a sweet, a musical voice. He was Barry White, musical, musical soul child, all right now. and Luther, all wrapped up in one. He was as soulful as it gets. My palms started to sweat as I envisioned holding him. Listening to that voice whispering in my ear all the seductive things I needed to hear. Mm. Penetrating my heart and moving straight into my soul. Mm. The vacancy had been filled. Right, I yeah. know I should take this slow, but the urgency in my heaven squared away the clouds and allowed him access. Access to my flowing river of milk and honey. Now to some folks it may seem funny, but I could not define this dream from reality. For I felt him touch me. I felt him enter me. I felt him claim me, felt right him become now. me, and I became him. Damn, life was about to win. This battle of good and bad, I was trying to be good and give it to him good without being a bad girl. But how could I? How could I not indulge? I desired to savor his flavor, feel the texture of his soul, explore his intricate design, make him invade my body while I invaded his mind with thoughts and ecstasy. Which for everything I desired him to do to me, I found myself tossing and turning, fighting not to wake up just yet, but I lost. As my ice cream dream melted, and I woke up. Oh. 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 It surprised me when my daughter texted me and said, Mommy, after Kevin, maybe you should do that. <laughs> because they all, that's my poetic team over here. <laughs> and they all forbid me to do this piece, but after, and it's funny because Kevin happens to be my cousin. I just didn't know he behaved like that. <laughs> so, my daughter requested this piece, and it's entitled Journeys. Uh oh. Let's get it. Let's get it. Come on. Really? I sat back last night and reminisced on the first time that we made love. Oh, no, no. I smiled as those memories flooded oh, my mind and I memories. relived that journey. Memories. Oh, I remember. Come on. I remember looking into your eyes and comparing them <gasps> to the lands of Kemet New. You <gasps> laid me across a blanket made of brown mud cloth. I reached my arms up and welcomed you to the motherland. Oh. Oh. You into that car road and made your way to the Sahara Desert where <laughs> the heat intensified even as you created oasis after oasis. Get him! Get him! Let's do it! Get him! Let's do it! Jungle. Get him! You climbed the high mountains of Kenya <laughs> and dipped into the Rift Valley. Oh your body spoke a language as smooth as the French that flows in Sierra Leone. Wow. Slowly you made your way to Mecca. Moving skillfully around the pyramids of Giza. Creating such excitement that the head of the sphinx started spinning. Oh, oh, yes. And the woke from their mummified state of gaze and amazement as you broke the dam and allowed the river now to flow through. Oh, yes. Here we go. Here we go. You wrote hieroglyphics on my wall. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Who's speaking that? What is that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cipher, I sat back last <laughs> night yeah, and reminisced on the first time that we made love. I smile as those <laughs> memories flooded my mind I and I lived that journey. Oh, I remember. I remember looking into your eyes and comparing them to twinkling stars. You laid me across a blanket made of black velvet. I reached my arms up and welcomed you to the universe. You encircled my planet. Recreating the rings around Saturn, conjuring delusions as Vince's events of clouds and Uranus. You moved with the ease of the retrograde rotation of Pluto. I swear, I saw so many as the eight moons on.
on Neptune when you touch what? my what? spot. struggling to breathe as you sail through the Milky Way. You went so deep oh, it was as if you were digging the canals on those oh. with the passion within me. Oh, <laughs> that lava on Mercury. You reproduce nuclear reactions deep within the core of my existence. Oh, the explosions went off and I saw shooting stars oh, yeah. and the Haley's comments. Oh. And a kiss oh. caressed me as I descended to Earth. Oh. I sat back last night and reminisced on the first time that we made love. I smile as those memories flooded my mind and I relived that journey. Oh, I remember. Mm -hmm. I remember. Uh-huh. <laughs> I. What? Remember. Oh. <laughs>